What's up, YouTube? Me here, one beastly dude, and it's time for an introduction. Some of you that have been longtime viewers of my channel will recognize this machine. This happens to be a 2003 Yamaha V Star 650 Silverado Edition. I have owned it for over a year now, did have the paperwork for it, and it's been in storage. Well, you say, how much did you pay for that fine piece of craftsmanship? $600. I bought it off of Craigslist off a guy about, well, let's see. It's about to be February, so a year and 14 days since I purchased this machine because I bought it January 3rd, January 4th. I don't remember. Anyway, I've owned it for over a year. When I went to purchase the bike, he was asking $1,200 for it. It didn't run, but you know, it was pretty decent looking, you know. Thought it might be worth the worth the work. Um, said he had a title. Went there on a I happen to live on a South Shore Lake Ponch train, pretty long distance. Like a 45 minute drive to get anywhere. So I get to the guy's house, have a trailer so I can pick it up, have money. Oh, I'm in the middle of moving. I don't know what happened to the title. He has a title for his other motorcycle, and it's Yamaha. So I'm like, he's like, look, give me 600 right now. I swear I have the title. It's in my name. I looked up the VIN number. It wasn't his name. So it's not like it was stolen or anything. And he's like, I'll get you the title, and you pay me the rest when I give it to you. Well, a year rolls by. Beginning of this January, he's like, I finally got the title, dude. He's like, let's go deal with this. He's like, by the way, don't worry about the rest of the month. You know, just we'll call it even. I was like, do it. So, motorcycle for 600 bucks. Now, since I've gotten it, I have done some work on it, which I should have filmed, but you know, I can tell you right now. Um, of course, the battery was dead. Carburetors were disgusting. I bought a rebuild kit, rebuilt the carburetors. I had to buy some special little brass pieces. They had like disintegrated. Uh, gas tank was full of rust. I cleaned that as best I could and put an extra big fuel filter on it. Um, used to have a um, backseat and then a sissy bar. I took that off because I ain't riding nobody on the back. I'm probably the capacity and over for this thing already. I'm debating on whether or not I'll take these off. I don't know. I kind of like them because I can use them small for everything. still slowly lock up on you to where like you couldn't drive. So I bled the whole thing and I cleaned and rebuilt the master cylinder or the brake cylinder as best I could. It seems to be working now but I may have to replace that. It needs a set of tires. It has valve cover leak work that leaks directly on the header. And yeah that's about it. Um, I'm gonna see if this next month if I can get my endorsement. It literally requires me to borrow a bike smaller than this one because this is 650. Louisiana requires a 300 or less for the testing. I have a friend of mine with a Honda Ground with a 125 on it. So I'll, uh, I'll go borrow that, take my test, get my endorsement, start riding. So you can look forward to ride videos. No, I'm not going to become a motor blogger. Sorry. They do well though. But I will do like videos to where like I go through the swamp or you know downtown French Quarter, lakefront, you know, really nice places, and my ugly voice will be speaking while I ride. Um other than that, yeah. So this is the Yamaha 650. I suppose you want to hear it, eh? I'm getting on the appropriate lane. 